Hello. In the next few minutes, I will show you how to build AI agents using model context protocol servers using open source trans agents, Amazon Bedrock in AWS. I'm Chandra Reddy. I'm a senior manager for Gen AI specialist solution architects at AWS. Let's consider a situation where you want to you specialize in developing Gen AI ML applications. You need to develop an agent very quickly, but you don't want to get bogged down by the nuances of dependent modules such as how do I query databases, analytics engines, lambda functions, query vector stores, pricing and costing, creating formatted markdown research reports. You have to leverage your awesome team, right? So other team members who might have already built some services that you can integrate into your agent. So how do you do that? The solution is to develop AI agents using MCP servers. Idea is to stand on the shoulders of giants, that is your teammates, who may have already built an MCP server. So let's look at this situation where the users wants to use an AI agent, and the AI agent is something that you are building that needs to go query a bunch of files, databases, analytics engines, and even invoke ML models. How do you do that? You pass a large language model, you pass the tools, but these may not have access or the understanding of uh, invoking all these data sources. So the, the solution to this is that you have an MCP server that can actually query all of these data sources. You use an MCP client that can um, work on behalf of the MCP server with the agent, and the MCP client exposes a bunch of tools that are passed to the AI agent so that the large language model and AI agent can invoke the right tools at the right time. So let's build the following four scenarios. The first scenario is AI agent. We are just going to ask it to write code to differentiate an equation. The second is where we are going to pass some tools that will have the ability to actually execute the code that it has written. The third is we are going to build an agent that uses an MCP server called AWS Labs Documentation Server, so that uh, you know we get the three tools that it exposes: read documentation, search, and recommend. Uh, so that the agent can um, search for whatever questions that the user is asking into the AWS documentation on any service. And the last but not the least, we will make it um, uh, more powerful by actually interacting with multiple MCP servers. So with that, let's get into the notebook. So let's jump to the beginning of the notebook. All right, here we go. So the first thing is we are going to install the requirements. And here is the requirements. Um, as you can see, fast MCP is what we are going to use. And there's a bunch of other modules that we are installing. And we are importing the modules. Uh, there's a logging that we have created. Now, this is the first simplest use case, right? Agent that can write code to differentiate an equation. So we're going to use trans here. So the instruction is write Python code to uh, differentiate equation. We are passing anthropic cloud 3.7 model. We are creating an agent by passing the model, and then we are passing the task to the agent. It's pretty simple, and then it writes this code. Now, the second use case or scenario for us was uh, not only write code, but also execute. To execute the code, you need to pass a tool, which is here, Python REPL. And that's, what, that's the only change that we have done here. This is the task. Model remains the same. We are just passing Python REPL and file write also so that we can write, you know, save the uh, Python code. And then, we are passing the task to the agent, and the agent will execute it. And as you can see here, it actually, uh, this is the original equation, this is the derivative, and it does the differentiation for us. Okay. Um, if you ask the same agent another question, explain the difference between agent core, short-term memory, and long-term memory, obviously, that LLM has no context about this. Um, so it should hallucinate. That's what is happening here. Since I don't have direct access to AWS documentation in this environment, it is just uh, you know, sharing generic stuff on conceptually, but it's not very specific about Bedrock agent core short-term memory and long-term memory. So what do you do? You need to somehow figure out a way for the agent to talk to the documentation server, and that's what we will do next. But before we do that, let's look at an MCP client. Uh, what we are doing here is, we are writing a reusable function that can create an MCP client. And what are we passing it? Command and args. Now, what is a command? For example, UVX is a Python package runner that we will pass. And this is the MCP server that we will pass. So, so when we ask to create a client, it's going to spin up this MCP server locally in our environment. Um, that's essentially what it does. So now let's look at the agent and how it should use MCP client with this MCP server. Remember, we wanted to ask that question about agent core memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory, and we would like to use the documentation MCP server because obviously this should be aware of it. So what we are essentially doing here is that 
we are creating a client, we are passing the UVX package and the MCP server name here, get the client handle. And with that client, we are getting all the tools that this MCP server is exposing and we are storing it in doc tools as an example. And then we, in this case, we are just printing. Now, if you look carefully for each of the tool, there is a description. This is what the large language model uses to figure out when to invoke which tool and what parameters to pass to that tool. And so that's why, long story short, this uh, the doc string for uh, tools is extremely important for the large language model. And now finally, we are gonna pass, you know, the task and the model and the tools to the agent, right? So we already went through this. Uh, we, this is the MCP client we are creating. We, this is the model that we created and we are listing the tools. We are passing the tools to the agent and we are giving the task to the agent. And as you can see here, this time it does a nice job of actually uh, talking specifically about bedrock agent core short-term memory and long-term memory. Now let's get to the next task, which is um, more powerful where we are going to give it multiple MCP servers. So. Remember, what we wanted to do was really, uh, you have a question, for example, let's say that you have a use case because of which you want to fine tune a Llama 8 billion model and you want to use SageMaker and you don't have all the details. So you want to like, you know, create a research report on how to get started. So the idea here is that you have three MCP servers. One MCP server will give you, will have the knowledge about all the SageMaker documentation. The pricing MCP server will give you pricing information for the various SageMaker instances. And we also want to store this information into a DynamoDB. Uh, you know, it's not needed, but I want to show you how you can actually access DynamoDB. And there is an MCP server for many other databases and analytics engines. So, uh, we'll pass, create, you know, create a MCP client for each of these MCP servers, collect all the tools exposed by these three MCP servers and pass it to the agent. And since the, we want the agent to write a nice research report, we'll pass a built-in tool called file write to the agent. So let's see how this works. So here is the task where we are saying, what is SageMaker's fine tuning ability? How can I fine tune the Llama 8B model? What type of SageMaker instances will I need? How much do they cost? And which region to use and write the report. And essentially what we're doing is we are creating an MCP client for pricing MCP server and another MCP client for DynamoDB MCP server. And we had already created the MCP client for document server previously. So we are gonna use all three of them here. And then we are collecting the tools from each one of them, adding all of them up and passing it to the agent. It's that simple, just four lines of code really. And then pass the task to the agent and as you can see here, the agent goes about and executes each of these tools and eventually creates this nice research report. As you can see here, the table of contents, um, the distributed training, how does it do that, all the features, and then all the benefits of those features, right? And then how to fine tune. It's giving you a step-by-step -step instruction of how to fine tune a Llama 8B model and uh, creating fine tune jobs, deploying fine tune jobs, training approaches. And then it's also talking to the other MCP server on the pricing MCP server, getting the instances um, and their pricing and eventually recommends, I think it will recommend, like what are the instances that you should consider uh, for fine tuning the job based on various scenarios. There you go, cost analysis and recommendations. So that was pretty powerful with just five lines of code, as you saw on how to use MCP client and MCP servers. Um, so just to summarize, we wrote an agent to do a very simple task, then we added a tool, then we added one or more MCP servers, and of course we use Amazon Bedrock and Cloud Sonnet models. And by using all of this, you really built powerful AI agents that leveraged MCP servers um, and in minutes. I hope the, uh, this content and video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching it.